Good morning, everybody. Well, I better just turn my audio down on that one before I start talking. Good morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, this week has been a very busy, not busy, no, not busy, I can't say busy, interesting week. It's been a very interesting week. Um, uh, it started off with my husband getting COVID this week. Um, and then me unsure whether I could go to my retreat, which is, was meant to start today. Um, to me, organising for the retreat to still go ahead without me, just in case I got COVID. And then Wednesday I got COVID. Um, and then yesterday it got cancelled because, unfortunately, the site we we're going to go to has um, been affected by the floods, the floodwaters, which is quite devastating. Um, so they've had to cancel a few... Um, camps there uh, so I thought well it's Friday it's my normal Friday live I haven't had a chance to actually do a pre-recorded version of this so I figured I might as well go live there's um so I'm so I'm, yeah I'm sure you can hear in my voice I'm a bit croaky and um, not quite myself um, so I will battle on through and see how I go um, but yeah it's just yeah I've I'm, I'm in isolation and some of my family's in isolation. One of my girls is off at school because she's already had COVID. So she's actually exempt from having to isolate. Um, but for the rest of us, um, yeah, my husband's still isolating. He's still got symptoms. So he'll be, yeah, I don't know how long it's going to go, go for. Don't know how long it's going to go for for me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I thought, well, I'm going to show you some of the products that are still available on the last chance products list. Um, it's, I've got a couple of ideas in my head, um, from other cards that I've prepared <clears throat> previously for another class. Um, so I'm sort of jumping off that idea and going and moving, using the, another stamp set. Um, so we'll, um, yeah, we'll see how we go with that. Um, so I'm going to be using the positive thoughts stamp set. I'll change over to uh, my overhead camera so you can see. Um, I'm not going to do the picture in picture today just because I'm not feeling awesome. Um, so, so you don't have to <laughs> suffer through my, my photo, my image, my, my face. Um, so I'm just going to go with the overhead camera today um, and just move, make sure everything's out of the way for you so you don't need to worry about anything else. Um, uh, so I've got my trimmer I've got some cardstock um, here we go there we go so positive thoughts stamp set so this is reduced um, well let me see what are we reduced by oh here we go um, so this stamp set's reduced from 37 down to $22.20 um, so what's that? 40% off, maybe? Um, I can't do my maths. I haven't looked at the sheet, <laughs> so I don't know. And the other, the coordinating dies, uh, the Nature's Thoughts dies. And so it's got a beautiful frame, um, a coordinating dies to cut out the fern, a feather. So you could, I don't think it actually cuts the feather out. It's just, um, another image. Uh, for the feather um, a butterfly oh you can actually cut the butter you can cut the feather out with that one um, and you can cut out the flower what else is there yeah I think that's pretty much it and then you've got a nice border as well that you can use this one is 50% off so this one's normally $50 reduced to $25 uh, so these dies um, the dies and stamp set are um, are fabulous they coordinate together so I'm just gonna go back to my other screen and get rid of some things off there <coughs> excuse me um, yeah so um, sorry <laughs> I may lose concentration a couple of times today so please bear with me so I'm gonna do a bit of masking today um, to show you 
So where is my where are my other cards that I had? I can't find them. But I'm going to be using um, Misty Moonlight and Just Jade. Now, I was having a look online to see what was still available in the in colours. There's not much. Um, Misty Moonlight Stamp Pad is still available. The Magenta Madness is still available. Bumblebee and Cinnamon Cider. Um, they're the only in-colour products that are still currently available. So there's no cardstock. There's no in uh, uh, re-inkers. There's... This is it. These four, these four stamp set, sets, uh, stamp pads, as of today, the eighth of April. This is all that's available for ink colors. So, um, I've been saying all the way through. If you love the ink colors, get them while you can because they do sell out really, really quickly. Um, like obviously, yeah, really quickly. So, uh, we're not nowhere near the end of the month. Um, this goes till the last chance list goes till the beginning of November. Oh, uh, sorry. Beginning of May. My goodness. Beginning of May. Um, yeah, so it goes to the beginning of May. So they're, they're the in colors that are available, but I'm still going to be working with just Jade just, um, for today and Misty Moonlight. And so I've got the coordinating card stock, obviously. So I'm going to use them as well. Not ideal, but I'm, I'm going to yeah, I, I had a look after I got everything out and then went, oh well, <laughs> that's, that's where we're at right now. Um, and I'm still going through my little card kits that I had <laughs> a while ago. So I'm slowly getting through them all. I had so many of them, I can't believe I had so many. I think it was numerous card kits together. Um, and they were just basic ones. So I'm going to use a bit of masking as well so you can obviously you can switch this around to use it for other projects um, other colors and stuff um, but it's just an idea of what you can use and what you can do with uh, this stamp set um, and other stamp sets like it it's just um, yeah so you can do it with anything really any, any stamp set um, like this so I'm gonna use some um, balmy blue and misty moonlight together and just grab out my blends, my blending brushes. Um, so I've got a mass of them. That's a green one. That's a, you could probably use that as a bluish one. That's a bluish one. So I'm just trying to get, keep the colours sort of a bit similar to what I've used before on these brushes, just for the least amount of contamination. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start with the balmy blue. I'm just going to do a bit of balmy blue down the bottom. Just hold the mask in place as best you can. And just blend those two together. Um, so I've done a couple of masks. just in slightly different places. So you've got that mask there. Um, and then you've got the fern. I'm going to use the fern stamp, but I'm just going to use Misty Moonlight for this one. So... And just do something really, really simple. So really simple. Um, there's the there's a couple of stamps, a couple of sentiments, sending positive thoughts. Something I need at the moment. <laughs> um, and friends like you mean more every year. I'm going to use that one actually. And I'm just going to use Misty Moonlight again. If you're watching, um, say hello. <clears throat> um, just, yeah, really, really simple card. Very, very simple, this one. I've just used the circle 
framelits, or what are they called? Um, the layering circle dies. Um, so I've just used the bigger one. No, not that one. This one, I believe. I've just used that circle, the largest plain circle die, to cut that out and create the mask. Morning, Michelle. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't exactly know what adhesive, what, what glues and stuff I have at the moment. I'm just... <laughs> I grabbed a tray of stuff and I'm hoping I've got everything I need in it. Um, so very, very, very simple, this card. Extremely simple. Um, and so I'll do another one similar to this, but slightly different. Um, Another one. But I might do it with the green, with the um, M e uh, Just Jade, this next one. Just do my spray, do my clean of the stamp. thought did I just put that in the ink no I didn't um, and so just line that up again I'm gonna use oh, just Jade and I was thinking some soft sea foam this time around yeah that doesn't pick up too much of the blue so what are you working on today Michelle I saw you were doing something <laughs> Michelle was one of the ladies that were coming down she's also my cousin she was coming down to um, my retreat um, but yeah, it got cancelled yesterday um, so now it's a case of pivoting. It's not always COVID that's actually causing the issues. It's now flooding in flooding in now in Sydney, so or north of the uh, south of Sydney. Crazy times at the moment. Crazy, crazy times. So this one I'm actually going to use just jade. I'm going to keep the mask there this time, and I'm going to. Stamp a couple of times, but I'm going to stamp off on this one and then stamp there. And again, bring in this stamp again. Did I do it on the wrong side? I have no idea. I think I did it right. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, everyone. So, again, another very simple card. Just working on simple things today. Simple is, I always find that simple is better. It's easier to reproduce with minimal products. Um, so the next one I'll show you, um, you don't even need dyes for, just um, just another mask. I like the Just, I like the just Jade with the uh, Mint Macaron. No, not is it, Soft Sea Foam Shop, sorry. Morning Sally. Uh, soft Sea Foam and Just Jade on that one. Uh, so yeah, so they're the two two very simple cards um, this one I've just left the mask on and this one I took the mask away and just stamped um, so this is positive 
This is positive thoughts, um, and this is on special at the moment. Uh, so the next one, my stamp cleaner. Let's stick with the positive thoughts. So I cut, I cut out, I cut out the a frame using this square die. So I've got where is the other bit? There it is. So I don't know if you can see. There's actually a bit of detail just around the edge. Um, just a small bit of detail around the edge. Um, just little dots, um, which is quite cute. Um, but I was thinking I might make that a bit of a frame and lift that up a bit. Um, so see if I can find another <coughs> card front. I'm going to try not to laugh too much because I, I think I'm, I'm coughing when I'm laughing. So I'm going to try not to cough, cough too much. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use that frame. Now this one I haven't got in my head. <laughs> I've only got <laughs> all I have right now is this bit and not sure what to do with this bit so I'm going to work on that now <laughs> and hope that I can get it right. <laughs> hope that I can have a bit of an idea and work through what I want to do. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I'm just going to put you there. So I might pull out the Just Jade, pull out the butterfly, I think the fern might go in the, um, what's that called, Just Jade, fern will go in Just Jade, I think we'll pull in Magenta Madness for the, um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, bumblebee for the butterfly. Um, and the feather. I might do the feather as well. Alright, so... Let's do Magenta Madness. Oh, Magenta Madness, or do I do Cinnamon Cider? Just to bring all the in colours together. Yeah. I'll do Magenta Madness just to bring the in colours all together again. Oh, sorry. Cinnamon cider. Oh, cinnamon cider for the words. Cinnamon cider words. Just like that. Okay. That one's done. Let's go with the fern. We'll do the fern like that. And I think what we might actually do is leave that one there. But we might we might actually use the um the dies and cut these out and make them of <coughs> stepped up a bit. Um. So 
So I'm just going to die cut these with the with the um, yeah with the dies and um, my die cut is right here next to me, but just not on the screen at the moment. I worked out where the die is meant, is meant to sit. <laughs> oh. oh, there it is. So the flower is the one that I was just struggling with just then, just to make sure I had the right way up for um, the die. And just cut these three things out all at once. Keeps moving. Sorry, people. I'm just going to grab my post it notes. Because if, you, if your dies keep moving, then obviously it's going to be a bit trickier to keep them, to get them cut out properly. Try that one more time. Oop. So we've got the butterfly. The flower and the feather. So I might bring this frame back in and some dimensionals. Just lay that on top. Just like that. It's not quite perfect. Now if I do that, I think that works quite well. I'm just going to stick these down flat. Like that. And just bring in oh, oh, the misty moonlight, I think. I 
off the edge. It hasn't quite lined up perfectly, and that this is one of the reasons why you should really try and um, <clears throat> make the bottom one a bit smaller, I think. No one's really going to see the underside as much. But... Ah. It's a bit tricky to trim off once you're stuck at town. See, there's no mistakes in card making. <laughs> There goes everything. Everything just fell off the table. Whoops. <laughs> it's not my day, not my week. Oh, I've got sparklies in my hair too. I've got some rhinestones in my hair. So there's the next card. I'm going to just do one more and then I think I might um, have to sign off, I think, <laughs> before things get from bad to worse. <laughs> so yeah, that's my other card. So the other one, the last one I'm going to do um, is, where's my card front? There. This one's... I'm hoping it's going to be just jade, but, oh, hang on. No, it may not, oh. If I can get, oh, I'll have to pop up and get my card tray. I've become a fairy, have I? <laughs> um, Alright, so this last one. I want to get out my post-it notes. And these are actually sticky from there to there. So they're mostly sticky. All of it. Yeah, most of it's sort of sticky-ish. So I'm just going to tear along there and might stick it down slightly. And then do another one. Oh, glitter in my hair, yes. <laughs> it was it's actually the rhinestones that ended up in the ended up on in my hair. I didn't realise that I'd picked a couple of them up. So I've just got that there. So I'm going to pull in I think I'm going to do um, Bumblebee Just Jade and some Soft Sea Foam. So I'll get rid of the balmy blue and the misty moonlight. Now I am aware that yeah, the just jade isn't available anymore, um, but it's the same process um, that you can use for other, you know, some other cut inks as well. And I'm just gonna um, just bring a bit, a bit of using my um, blending brushes. Just do a bit of ink in a couple of different places. Oh, that one, that one's a bluish one. So where's my other one? Oh, I don't know. Let's use this one. <laughs> so 
sorry, I'm bumping the um, camera a bit. And then just bring in some Just Jade as well. So this is what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to do that. And I just did. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to try that again, but on the other side. But you can see the process what I'm that I'm trying to do. So, oh, I can't do that side either. Oh, one more time. Let's try that one more time. I might make it slightly wider though as well. And see that was a bit of a mistake in card making. But we shall just redo and I'm just gonna pull out a couple more <laughs> post-it notes just to go over the top of those bits so that I don't get ink on the rest of the card that I don't want it on. All right, let's try that again. <clears throat> Bumblebee. Some soft sea foam. The colours are sort of blending a bit anyway. As you put the brush, the blending brush, you use the blending brushes, it blends a bit. keep that one too actually so then I want to get um, my fern and I'm gonna just stamp as is straight over the top just to get a bit of a background um, and I want to get my, where's my feather? Where's my feather? Um, yeah. And what else do I want? I'm going to do the flower as well. And just jade. So as I take that one off, I've created a bit of a background. And then with... Um, got some corresponding colours what have I got here I've got a few colours from last week that I didn't end up using I think that's yeah I'll pull these ones out I might do that one I don't think I've got any more just jade So if I grab out the feather, I'm just going to cut out a feather. And I'm also going to grab, where's the other bit there? I'm just going to grab out the other scrap and stamp the fern. I'm just going to die cut that as well. Um, and the 
leather doesn't need to be put down as it with the post it because it's just cutting straight out from the cardstock. Um, where's my second plastic piece? There it is. My plastic plate. I fit my oh. I'm just going to cut out a second feather. Two feathers. <laughs> yes, I do know you love feathers, Sally. <laughs> so I'm going to stick that one down. Friends like you mean everything. I'm going to keep with that stamp set. This week has been a bit challenging, to say the least, really. Um, but the community that we have in my team is absolutely phenomenal, I need to say. And um, they have been so supportive of me throughout this whole week and beyond. Oh, always beyond as well, but... This week has just stood out to me and made me realise um, how special my team is. They are, I don't know, I just, it's made me um, cry tears of joy. But they are, so, they are so, so special to me. Um, with the feathers, rather than just leaving them as they are, I'm just going to add a bit of ink to them as well. You can see the difference between the two, I hope. So these feathers have also got a bit of texture on them, like um, detail, so hopefully you can see the detail on that a bit. Some more rhinestones. I love this technique. It's just something that's just um, super easy, super, super easy to do. And um, yeah, it's fun too. So, like, and even if you mess up, flip the cardstock over, if you haven't already done the other side, <laughs> and you can just try again. Um, but it's a great way to create a background um, pretty quickly and simply. And yeah, the first, like obviously not um, lifting up the mask before you stamp is good too. But you can also lift up the mask like I did with the first card. Um, so I'm just going to bring, I'm just going to clean up a tiny bit and then I can bring those cards in. things out of the way. That's the plan. A bit 
noisy here at the moment with me. <laughs> so all these dies. So you've got also a couple of little butterflies as well. Um, yeah, the flowers. They're just cute. They're just cute dies, actually. I've, I haven't used these as much as I should have. And that's for sure. But I've been enjoying using them with you. <laughs> Sorry, that one. Yeah, so, the, yeah, nature's thoughts, um, positive thoughts, just gorgeous. Um, four different step, four different cards for you. Um, yeah, so it's just been, these ones are, as I said, they're retiring. Uh, they're on the last chance list. Uh, the dies are fifty percent off, uh, reduced down to twenty five dollars. The stamp set is twenty two. I want to say, I want to say twenty two. Let me just quickly put bring that up. Yeah, twenty two. Twenty two dollars twenty. The stamp set. Um, I'm missing a feather. There's the feather. So, yeah. So, positive thoughts. Um, good couple of coordinating products um, that you can get right now. Discounted. Um, it's always a fabulous time to join Stampin' Up! and purchase that starter kit as well. And you can always add these products to... Uh, to your starter kit um, when you join and I'd love to welcome you into my team um, as I said my team is just like I know I'm probably a bit biased but um, this week they are amazing and the one of the main reasons why I stay a demonstrator um, the amount of love and support that they provide is absolutely amazing and so I wouldn't change it for a world and the only the only the only way that I actually met a lot of these ladies is because of um, Stampin' Up. Um, Stampin' Up have brought them into my life, which is just beautiful. And um, yeah. Oh, Susan. Hi. You just bought this stamp set. Yay. I'm so pleased. <laughs> well, you can have a good play with them now, can't you? So that'll be good once you get them. But yeah, this um, it's just a beautiful beautiful set of products so um, grab them while you can again the in colors that are still available uh, I'm missing one there is the other one these are the last four in colors that are available um, before they retire permanently or will retire at the moment you never know Stampin' Up! may bring some of these back um, but we just don't know they usually do a color refresh at some stage um, and it's probably getting closer to it at the moment, but we haven't been notified of any color refreshes this year. So there may be one in the works next year, but we don't know for sure. Um, but I'm so pleased you could join me. Um, next week is uh, Good Friday, so who knows what, what I'm going to be. I might still be in isolation because I may still have symptoms. Who knows? Um, <laughs> I hope you have a fabulous weekend. It's quite wet here. This weekend so it's going to be a weekend of crafting and everyone that's missed out on going to my retreat I'm going to do um, some online sessions with them um, because we're meant to meet anyway so yeah I'll do a couple of um, yeah zoom sessions with them um, just to try and make the weekend a bit more special <laughs> than it would be otherwise having not have a retreat at all so Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again soon and I will, um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye. I just have to work out how I get back to where I need to be so I can turn off the screen.